working on Flash Gordon again. Uh, the strobe light is working, but it was intermittent. So what I found here is that the connection pins uh, here were, I don't know, not in great shape. And you can see it's kind of dirty on top, even the Molex connector. So we're repinning it today. Uh, there's not too many to do, it's just four in here. Uh, and I'm using some other Molex pins. I believe these are Gottlieb pins. And the only difference between Valley and Gottlieb really is that you see there's a little tab at the top. It kind of looks like a fang coming off it. Uh, so we're bending and breaking those off here before we install it so that it matches what the original pins were looking like. So here I've already broken one off and I'll just make sure that's flat and straight up so that it won't rub as it's going in. Uh, we'll break off the other one too and then we'll reseat it in there. So the way you do that is if you push a screwdriver flathead into it at just enough force, you'll be able to yank out the old uh, pin here. Uh, and this one, you probably actually don't even need to do that. You probably can yank, but it helps to kind of get in there a little bit at the very end and push it forward to help it out. Because the last thing you want to have happen is the wire pulls out of the metal uh, while the metal is still inside the connector. If it does that, it's going to be very, very hard to get out if you even can. Um, so I usually take pictures of how all the wires go in. I mean, everything's color coded. Uh, before I do any of this work, just in case I forget where this goes, which it goes right next to the uh, first black wire there. Uh, so once we repin those, it should take care of the connection issue and the, the strobe light should be working totally fine. Uh, one other thing to take a look out for here is that you want to use some sort of crimping device to crimp these into here. Uh, so instead of trying to pry these metal old connectors off and reuse the same piece of wire, just cut it as close as you can, restrip it a little bit, and then crimp on the new one. And you can see the way to do that is these come with little wings on the back side. You want the, the smaller wing to be actually touching the bare metal and the back larger wing to be on the rubber part of the wire, and that's how it holds onto it. And if you crimp that down pretty good, they should last uh, many, many times. And this should last long, long 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 time for you as long as you don't expose your machine to any bad weather where it could corrode which is kind of the issue here is that there was getting oxidization or dirt I don't know how well you can see it but you know the pins just dirty so you could scrape it with a paper clip while it's still in the molex connector you could try and use a pick but the real best way to do it is to pull it out and put on new uh, pins and that should bring our flash gordon strobe light back uh back to back to life on this particular one we replaced almost all the boards the lighting board because we have a lot of leds in there mpu driver or coil driver uh, but we still have the original sound sound card in here so the next thing i'm going to do to this just to make sure everything is safe and lasting is i'm going to replace these original electrolytic capacitors uh, you could use mauser or some some website like that uh, you just measure the individual connectors or uh, capacitors for length, uh, terminal length with the actual uh, cap, and you should be able to find one that fits pretty well. Uh, but you really want to do that because when these capacitors go, which is 25 to 30 years life on them, uh, they're going to start to destroy things after the capacitor and the board. So that's when you really get into some nasty uh, repair needs once that happens. So it's best to be proactive, change out these capacitors. Uh, electrolytic capacitors. You don't have to do any of these. Um, it's really just these guys because they're oil filled and they do leak, dry up, and that's what causes value changes. One more thing worth mentioning uh, when you're bending out the tabs, sometimes they'll get in the way when you're trying to push the uh, board back in. So don't worry about it. Just use one of these, uh, Scribe, I believe it's called and just jam it in the slot and it'll bend the small little metal piece away uh, that you broke off the wing. It's left from breaking off the wing and the board will fit right in. So don't worry about that. 